Hello, space fans. Throughout our night sky, we see planets, stars, and galaxies. But here in our solar system, we can also see another object that we don't often talk about. This is comets and asteroids. Comets have something in common with a lot of things here on Earth. And I'm talking about tails. What has tails? Well, dogs have tails. Cats as well. Dinosaurs, yeah, they had tails. Sonic also had tails. And of course, comets. But what is a comet? A comet is an icy, small solar system body. Comets are frozen leftovers from the formation of the solar system composed of dust, rock, and ice. They are cosmic snowballs of frozen gases that orbit the sun. When frozen, they are the size of a small town. When a comet's orbit brings it close to the sun, it heats up and spews dust and gases into a giant glowing head larger than most planets. The dust and gases form a tail that stretches away from the sun for millions of miles. When passing close to the sun, the comet warms and begins to release gases, a process that is called outgassing. This produces a visible atmosphere, or coma, and sometimes it is also called a tail. These phenomena are due to the effects of solar radiation and the solar wind acting upon the nucleus of a comet. Most comets come from the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond the orbit of Neptune. Comets from this neighborhood usually take 200 years or less to make one orbit around the sun. These are called short period comets. Comets also come from their other hangout, the Oort Cloud, a far, far distant cloud of comets that surrounds the solar system. Scientists think that there could be about a trillion comets orbiting way out there. One trip around the sun could take one of these comets 30 million years. These are called long period comets. What brings comets to Earth? Well, sometimes the gravitational pull of a passing star stirs up comets in the Oort cloud. Some might get sent flying into the inner solar system. Sometimes the gravitational pull of a planet can disturb comets in the Kuiper belt and fling one towards the sun. The sun's gravitational pull takes over, shaping the comet's path into a lopsided orbit. The comet is pulled faster and faster toward the sun. It swings around close to the backside, then it heads out again, to more or less where it came from. Some comets dive right into the sun, never to be seen again. When the comet is in the inner solar system, either coming or going, that's where we may see it in our sky. In 2004, astronomers were a little worried about the discovery of Comet Apophis with a strong possibility of hitting Earth within the next 25 years. But, since this video has been made, NASA astronomers were very busy taking observations of this infamous space rock. Later calculations let NASA scientists announce on March 26, 2021 that the Earth is safe from an impact. Radar observations taken at NASA's Goldstone Deep Space Communications Complex in California and at the Green Bank Observatory in West Virginia have officially ruled out an impact in 2068, the only year out of the next 100 that showed any risk. So everybody can rest easy. This asteroid will not hit us anytime soon. Hubble took this image of a comet and its 400,000 mile long tail. It was found near the Trojan asteroids, believed to be leftover material from the formation of the outer planets billions of years ago. The Trojans orbit the sun in two groups, with one group trailing behind Jupiter and the other leading ahead in its path. This is the first time a comet has been discovered near the Trojan asteroids. The comet came from a region of icy debris beyond Neptune's orbit called the Kuiper Belt. After traveling for billions of miles, it was captured by Jupiter's powerful gravity.
but the unexpected guest will not stay among the asteroids for very long. Computer simulations show that Jupiter will kick the comet into the inner solar system. Simulations also show that in about 500,000 years, that there is a 90% chance that this will be ejected from the solar system and become an inner stellar comet. Until then, Hubble's views help us better understand the comet P2019 LD2. Every day, meteorites strike the Earth, but many of them are too small to cause any damage. However, about 17 times per year, meteors do hit the ground, and bigger strikes happen anywhere between 5 to 10 times a year. But many of these go unnoticed because most impacts occur across the ocean. In the summer of 2020, astronomers and many night sky fans alike were gifted with a spectacular surprise. Comet Neowise. Neowise is a long period comet with a near parabolic orbit discovered on March 27, 2020, by astronomers during the Neowise mission of the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer Space Telescope. At that time, it was an 18th magnitude object located two astronomical units away from the Sun and 1.7 astronomical units away from Earth. Neowise is known for being the brightest comet in the Northern Hemisphere since Comet Hale-Bob in 1997. It was widely photographed by professional and amateur observers and even spotted by people living in high light polluted areas. Under dark skies, it could be seen easily with the naked eye and remain visible to the naked eye throughout July of 2020. Even I got into the action and observed the amazing comet. Comet Neowise made its closest approach to the Sun on July 3, 2020, at a distance of 0.29 astronomical units. Its closest approach to Earth occurred on July 23, 2020, at a distance of 0.69 astronomical units, while located in the constellation of Ursa Major. Take a look at this view from the International Space Station. Did you see it? Let's take a look at that in super slow-mo. About 50,000 years ago, a small meteor headed straight towards Earth and crashed into it, and it hit right here in the United States, which is now known as Arizona and it formated what we now know as Meteor Crater. Located approximately 37 miles east of Flagstaff and about 18 miles west of Winslow in the northern Arizona desert lies an amazing site that you can all visit today. Even I have been there. Don't I look great? Okay, okay, all kidding aside, Meteor Crater is a popular tourist attraction privately owned by the Barringer family through the Barringer Crater Company, and with an admission fee, you can go in and see the crater for yourself. With a depth of 560 feet and a diameter of almost one mile wide, Meteor Crater is the best preserved meteorite crater on Earth, and it can be seen from space. meteorite crashed into Arizona 50,000 years ago, it spread debris of meteorite chunks all throughout the Arizonian desert. And this is one of those pieces from the crater you've just seen. So this came to Earth 50,000 years ago. This is an object from space in my hand. And I think that is really, really cool. Our solar system is so vast and filled with so many objects, it has to blow our minds with how small we are compared to everything else that surrounds us. I hope you learned more about comets, and next time we can discuss a little bit more about asteroids. But until then, be curious, be creative, and always look up.